Hello viewers. Today we are going to discuss on concept of multi substrate reaction. But before going into the detail, I would like to mention that it is the part of the initiative taken up by the Geological Society of Assam to support undergraduate students of geology during the COVID-19 lockdown period. The learning outcome of this module are the concept of bisubstrate reaction and its type, the concept of sequential reaction and its mechanism, the concept of order sequential reaction and its mechanism, the concept of random sequential reaction and its mechanism, and finally, the concept of double displacement reaction and its mechanism. Enzymes are biomolecules. Typically, they are made up of proteins, which speed up the rate of the reaction that take place within cells. The reactants of enzyme-catalyzed reactions are termed as substrates. The substrates bind to a region on the enzyme called active site and are converted into different molecules called products. Before the catalysis, enzyme must bind their substrate. Each enzyme is quite specific in character. That means they act on a particular substrate to produce a particular product. The two models which explain mechanism of enzyme action are lock and key model and induced feed model. The sequence of steps by which catalytic reaction proceeds is called reaction mechanism. In an enzyme catalyzed biochemical reaction, the enzyme molecule binds specifically and reversibly to the substrate molecule resulting in formation of product. During that, there is formation of an unstable enzyme substrate complex which ultimately form product. This can be simply represented by the following equations. Here, E is the enzyme, S is the substrate. When the substrate binds to the enzyme E, then unstable enzyme substrate complex that is ES is formed. In this unstable enzyme substrate complex, catalytic reaction takes place. Ultimately, product P is formed and the enzyme E is released at the end of the reaction without being altered. These enzyme catalytic mechanisms are divided into two types, single substrate and multiple substrate mechanisms. The michaelis manton model which is widely used for enzyme kinetics was derived using single substrate reaction which can be simply denoted as A plus E where A is the substrate when it reversibly bind with the enzyme E it forms product P and at the end of the reaction enzyme is released. But the majority of the enzymatic reactions involved are multiple substrate and multiple products. Now, what is multi-substrate reaction? The reaction which involves more than one substrate and one product are termed as multi-substrate reaction. This is the generalized way by which we can represent the multi-substrate reaction. Here, A and B are the two substrates. When they bind to the enzyme E, the products P and Q are formed. Here we can see that in this reaction, two substrates are involving, that is A and B, and two products are forming, that is P and Q. So such kind of reaction, where more than one substrate and more than one products are formed, we call it a multi-substrate reaction. In this type of reaction, all the substrates involved 
are bound to the enzyme before catalysis of the reaction takes place to release the product. That means that before the catalysis, all the substrate must bind to the enzyme active site. The bisubstrate reaction. These are the reaction which involves two substrates and two products. So in this module, we are mainly going to discuss on the bisubstrate reaction. It is also a type of multiple substrate reaction because bisubstrate reaction accounts for almost 60% of the known enzymatic reaction. A nomenclature system was introduced by Cleanens for representing the enzymatic reaction that we called Cleanens nomenclature system. According to this substrate, they are designated as A, B, C, D in the order in which they bind to the enzyme. And the products, they are designated as P, Q, R, S in the order in which they release from the enzyme. Stable enzyme forms are designated as E, F, G, where E being the free enzyme. Stable enzyme form is defined as one that by itself is incapable of converting to another stable enzyme form. The transitory enzyme complexes are designated as E, A, E, A, B, S, B, H, Q where EA, SB and HQ are the binary complex whereas EAB is the ternary complex and the number of reactants are designated as uni, bi, ter and quad depending on the number of substrate taking part in a reaction. The bisubstrate reaction. As I already mentioned Bisubstrate reactions are those reactions where two substrates are taking part in a reaction and two products are forming. So this type of reaction we call it a bisubstrate reaction. So this bisubstrate reaction falls under two classes. One is sequential or single displacement reaction. Another one is ping pong or double displacement reaction. The sequential or single displacement reaction is further classified into two types, ordered or random type of reaction. Now the sequential reaction. In this reaction, all the substrate involved are bound to the enzyme before the catalysis of reaction to take place to release the product. That means that before the reaction to take place, all the substrate must bind to the enzyme. Ternary complex of the enzyme and two substrates are formed. So during this reaction, a ternary complex are formed and it is the important feature of the sequential reaction. There are two types of sequential reaction, ordered sequential and random sequential reaction. In case of order sequential reaction, all the substrates are first bound to the enzyme in a defined order or sequences that we will see in our coming slide its mechanism. The products released after catalysis are two in a defined order or sequence. Now let's see the mechanism of order sequential reaction. Here in this reaction, E is the enzyme, A and B are the two substrate, P and Q are the two products. So first, the leading substrate that is A, it first binds with the enzyme E which is followed by the next substrate B. And the result of this binding leads to the formation of ternary complex that is AEB. 
and the reaction take place in the ternary complex which results in the formation of product P and Q. The release of the product from the enzyme is also in a ordered sequence. So here first the product P is released from the enzyme which is followed by the next product Q. This type of order sequential mechanism is shown by the enzyme lactate dehydrogenase which catalyzes the reaction of formation of lactate from pyruvate. Here in this mechanism we can see that NADH and pyruvate are the two substrate where NADH which is the coenzyme always bind first with the enzyme with the pyruvate binding afterward. This results in the formation of ternary complex that is ENADH pyruvate which is marked with red color here and during this reaction the pyruvate is reduced to lactate while the NADH is oxidized to NAD plus and the release of the product the lactate is always released first from the enzyme and it is followed by the next product that is NAD plus. Now the random sequential reaction. In random sequential reaction the substrate and product are bound and then released in no preferred order or random order. Unlike our ordered sequential reactions where the binding of the substrate and release of the product were in the ordered manner. But here in case of random sequential reaction there is no definite order for binding of the substrate and the release of the product. In this reaction, all possible binary enzyme substrate and product complexes are formed rapidly and reversibly when enzyme is added to a reaction mixture. So this is the generalized mechanism of random sequential reaction. Here A and B are the two substrates. E is the enzyme. So here in this reaction, Either substrate A or B enter the reaction first. Suppose if A binds first with the enzyme, it will form binary complex AE and after binding with substrate B, it will form ternary complex AEB. And if B binds first with the enzyme, it will form binary complex BE and after binding with substrate A, it will form ternary complex AEB. And after the catalysis, products P and Q are formed. And the release of the product P and Q from the enzyme are also random. Either product P or Q is released first from the enzyme. So here we can see that the entry of the substrate do not follow a definite pattern and even the release of the product also do not follow a definite pattern. So this type of random sequential mechanism is shown by the enzyme creating kinase which catalyzes the reaction of formation of creatine phosphate from creatine and ATP. This slide is showing the random sequential process for creating kinase which catalyzes creatine and ATP to form phosphocreatine and ADP. Here we can see that ATP and creatine are the two substrates. So if ATP 
first bind with the enzyme then creatine will enter next so if creatine first bind to the enzyme then ATP will come next this binding results enzyme creating ATP complex which is the ternary complex then after catalysis phosphocreatine and ADP are formed and the release of phosphocreatine and ADP from the enzyme is also random so any one of them can release first followed by the second product the ping pong reaction or double displacement reaction in this type of reaction the enzyme bounces back and forth from an intermediate state to its standard state that's why it is called ping pong the enzyme acts like a ping pong ball bouncing from one state to another in ping pong mechanism change in the enzyme into an intermediate form occurs when the formation of first product from the first substrate takes place here one product is formed and released before the second substrate bind to the enzyme this is the generalized mechanism of ping pong reaction here the substrate a first bind to the enzyme to form enzyme substrate complex that is EA at this point intermediate state of the enzyme which is marked with E asterisk is formed with product P the product P is then released from the intermediate state of the enzyme then our next substrate B enters into the reaction the B is then converted into product Q the release of the product Q from the enzyme brings back the original state of the enzyme from the intermediate state the enzyme aspartic amino transferase which catalyzes the transfer of an amino group from aspartate to alpha ketoglutarate to form glutamate and oxaloacetate shows ping pong type of mechanism in this figure as we can see that aspartate when bind to the enzyme e it gives it amino group to the enzyme to form the intermediate state of the enzyme and the first product oxaloacetate mm. is released the second substrate that is alpha ketoglutarate then bind to this intermediate state of the enzyme and accept the amino group from the enzyme and get converted into product glutamate the glutamate is then released as the second product and finally the enzyme original conformation is achieved so now before winding up let's quickly summarize the things that we have learned enzyme catalyzed reaction are of two types single substrate and multiple substrate majority of the enzymatic reaction involved in nature are of multiple substrate types Cleanin's nomenclature is used for possible mechanism for enzyme catalyzed reaction with more than one substrate and product. Bi substrate reaction are of two types sequential or double displacement. Sequential reaction can be either ordered or random type where the entry of the substrate and the release of the product follow the definite pattern in case of order and in case of random they do not follow the definite pattern in double displacement reaction enzyme altered between two different states as we have seen that 
binding of the first substrate and the release of the first product bring the conformation change in the enzyme so that it could bind the second substrate and the release of the second product also bring the conformation change in the enzyme so that it could achieve its original conformational state. These are the references and some suggested readings. For any queries, do feel free to write to me at archanabora09 at the rate gmail.com. Thank you.